right. All right. Let me know whenever you're ready. Ready? All right. Three. Yeah. Three. Two. One. Go. I love how on your theater it fucking has that like all the pieces of the map pop up together. It's Can't like flaggy flag. shit. Okay. But uh, what up, guys? It's for YouTube. Um. Yeah. Uh, to everybody watching, this is my new team, Pure. Uh, it consists of me, Hunter JJX, Spark, and uh, Platinum. And uh, this is Hunter's gameplay. We just got done playing a uh, formal team for Pittsburgh, which is BTH. So, um, yeah, this is some of his gameplay. Uh, and he's going to commentate on most of it. And I'll throw in my two cents over here. You know, now. So. What's up, guys? As you can see, I, right off the bat, went uh, for formal. It's part of our strategy to go for the other two snipers, try to put pressure on them. Uh, obviously, formal is an exceptional sniper, so he bodied me out to be able to get cleaned up pretty easily. But um, my goal for the majority of the game is to basically put as much damage on the other team without sustaining damage myself. See myself there cleaning up ring trees. Very important position. We want to make sure they're off ring trees. So very often I'll check ring trees to make sure there's no one there. Um, or if it's clear, I'll try to get up there. Yeah, Justin's one of the, right here, just, defending our Justin's one of these players that has like a really very very quick response time like response time and uh he's just like as you can see his, his curse is a little bit twitchy until he starts shooting and then it's just straight pre precision just 100 percent accuracy yo so right now like i said earlier the ring three was open so i try to get up there our goal is to be ring three and sort of use ring three as a position to um, cover fire our teammates, put shots down, make sure that we are pressuring the other team, making sure they're, they're trapped, having to make a and as you can see here, I suck at jumping. Yeah, we're trying to, uh, what we like to do is we like to rotate around the map based on, like, where your teammates are on the outskirts. So if our teammates are on green side, the guy ring three should be green side, so that way he can get angles on them, they can get angles on him, and both, both, you know, sides of the team are going to be able to stay alive together a lot more. And, uh, there's a lot of teams that don't really know like how to do that, they don't know how to keep the guy ring three alive, and um, they don't really like put Enemy shots in ring three, they challenge way too much. So it's always easy to like clean people like that up. Uh, you can notice that in the amateur teams a lot. So right there, um, normally I would want to push to help the flag, but I realized sniper was coming up to me, but I decided it would be more valuable to me to make sure that sniper left someone like formal right there. Um, can't do much. I just see I missed a couple of shots, but in the end we got the cap, so it was worth it. I hear Trey was telling me to run away, get out the window, so I listened to Trey, dipped out, and as you can see, I survived because of it. A little bit longer, at least. <laughs> uh, now we have two deads, there's numbers, so we're trying to get map control. What did this game end? What did this game end? What did this game end? 5 0, 5 1? Enemy 5 0. 5 0. So, yeah, so we have some pretty good execution on flags. As you can see, the fly guy saw the spawn, so he's running the flag right towards me, and we're trying to cut off that side of the map. So we're putting nades down on diesel, easy cleanup. It's very easy when another when we're running the flag for um, if let's say you're running the flag, it's really easy to just wait on the other team to make You don't always have to just charge straight at the other team when you're running a flag. It's easy to sit back, let the other team come to you. A lot of times they'll get desperate, try to stop the flag, put themselves in bad position. I see myself a lot this game when we're pulling flags. I put myself in a position where I can easily clean up the people making um, bad bad decisions. Yeah, a lot of the Halo Pro scene has gotten a little bit lazy. A lot of them don't like to practice anymore, and uh, right now we're just trying to pretty much do as much as we possibly can when it comes to practice and like learn uh, like everything we can to, to you know compete with these guys. So um, especially like or, like one specific thing we're working on is dispatch. Like dispatch is our biggest like strategy map. We've been really trying to lock down this map because there's three game types on this map. And for Pittsburgh, that's huge. Three be to be able to guarantee that you are very, very good, like 90% of most of the wins, 90% of the time that you play on dispatch, you're gonna win. Like, that, that's gonna guarantee a lot of series when it comes to Pittsburgh. So, we've been really working hard on making sure that we secure all the weapons, we abuse all the nerdy spots, and we're just running around the map together. So, as you can see, Justin's like really fast. He just like runs and he's just, he just gets away and he's smart. He's got good good angles. And, and typically it'll take a, quite a while. Oh, there's a little tea bag there. A little anger, a little frustration online. A little bit of saltiness. A little saltiness. Takes forever to kill you, dude. That's why. Escort your carrier. Team score. Enemy 
But um, yeah, you brought up a good point earlier, Trey, as I stopped this flag with a nice little body Protect shot. Um, you brought up a good point about, you know, acknowledging that dispatch is one of the games that you need to work on, because a lot of teams online, uh, especially semi-pro, uh, mainly oh. amateur teams, they, uh, yeah, nice little snipe there. Um, amateur teams, they mainly will get online, and their goal when they're scrimming is to try and just win. All they want to do is win, and so what ends up happening then is you never get better. Um, however, with our team, we have a lot of older players. We've been around for a lot longer. We know what it takes to win, so instead of trying to just win online, we try to um, identify what our problems are. Where are our problems at? What do we not play that well? And we try to just grind those game types until they become our, you know, our good map. So instead of just trying to win online, um, like the majority of teams, we're just trying to get better. Which at the end of the day, which uh, pays you know a difference when we go to a tournament and we're more prepared than a team that was kind of running around, running and gunning and hoping to win. If I hear formal chokes a little bit, they would get an easy melee on them. Stay alive somehow from that maybe. As you can right, see, you see like, at the last possession, yeah. we had the flag back at our base and they just ran to us. And we were able to easily kill them and now we're running another flag. Putting shots everywhere. Calling them out. Four dead. Now we know they're going to spawn yellow. They're trapped in there, see? Not letting him get by. Making them make the bad decisions. As you can see, Justin's a very, very, very fast player. You do, you're not going to see very many players like this in general, but I would say, like, to me, Justin's one of those old school players that just, like, you know, he runs around the map and he does everything he possibly can, shooting everyone. He plays by the rules, plays by, plays as a team, and, like, like my team is, re like, literally rewarded greatly for how he plays just because you know, he'll put shots in, in everybody and get everybody weak. And it makes, it makes me not have to sit there and, you know, do double the work. I'm just getting a cleanup, getting a cleanup moving. I'm in, a, I'm in a one on one battle. You know, it's a 50 50. And, you know, if Justin gets one shot onto him, then I mean, that's it. Team score. So. There you have it, guys. A 5 0, 5 0 sweep. Um, good plays there. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Um, be sure to tune in to our Twitches when we're streaming and to our YouTube channel. Come back here for more content from Team Fury. Yeah, and thanks. subscribe if you uh, get a chance, if you like the what the content's coming up. So thanks for watching. All right, peace. Later, guys.